If you've ever played Metal Gear Solid 3 on journalist mode, I mean, very easy, then you will probably remember the easy gun. This overpowered piece of equipment would set your camo index to at least 80%, no matter where you were or what you were doing. It made your stamina recover automatically, had infinite ammo, and a suppressor that never wore out. The real kicker is that this gun doesn't even have a suppressor in the first place, so how does it work? Before we get started, we need to understand how a normal suppressor works. An explosion is loud due to the rapid compression and expansion of the air around it, so a suppressor works on two parts. One, it works to contain the exhaust gases of the bullet as it leaves the barrel, which in turn eliminates the muzzle flash. In general, larger suppressors are quieter than smaller ones. However, this has its own drawbacks, as it increases the overall length of the gun, which could make a rifle or shotgun unwieldy in close quarters, and an increased diameter could block the sights of a handgun. As such, you might need higher sights like those of the Mark 22 that we see in the game. Incidentally, when H&K was going through trials to develop the Mark 23 SOCOM pistol, they tried an asymmetric suppressor design, which would help to increase the volume of the suppressor without blocking the standard sights. This gives us the rather iconic design of the SOCOM pistol that we see in the early Metal Gear Solid games. Two, the inside of a suppressor is more than just a can. Inside, there are internal baffles to disrupt and slow down the gases behind the bullet, which reduces the concussive force of the air, thus making it quieter. The ammo itself can also play a significant role on how loud the gunshot is, even when shooting suppressed. You might be familiar with the loud sonic boom of a fighter plane as it flies by. Well, a bullet going several times the speed of sound will also have a sonic boom that can be nearly as loud as the gunshot itself. However, a bullet traveling slower than the speed of sound won't have a sonic boom. Therefore, it can be very quiet. But as a trade-off, it will have significantly less energy, which will limit its range and damage to the target. Wait a minute. Okay. I hear the crack. And then the gunshot. Sigan explains that the easy gun's ammo itself is the suppressor. But it doesn't have a... It doesn't need a suppressor. What do you mean? The noise suppressing mechanism is built into the tranquilizer rounds themselves. The inside of the powder case contains a tiny piston. It's set up so that when the firing gas pushes the piston, the piston pushes the bullet out of the chamber. The firing gas is sealed within the chamber by the piston, preventing it from escaping outside. That's why there's no sound when it fires. While this might sound like spy fiction or some obscure prototype that was never really used, you might be surprised to find out that this type of ammo is a very real thing currently used by the Russian military. The SP-4 7.62x41mm cartridge was developed during the late 1970s for covert operations by the KGB and Spetsnaz. Just like Sigint described, this bullet uses the combustion of the gunpowder to rapidly push the piston forward, thus propelling the bullet. Unlike a normal bullet, all of the exhaust gases remain sealed within the bullet's casing, so there isn't any muzzle flash or fouling, and most importantly, it's extremely quiet. This is about as quiet as a suppressed 22 lr You might think that this would be a terrible design, and the bullet would explode from the pressure, and you'd kind of be right. Immediately after shooting, the fired gases are under strong pressure from the inside, and thus are unsafe. However, over time, the gases inside the case cool down, and the pressure can drop to safe levels. Another caveat about the SP-4 bullet is that it's really low power. It's less than a 9mm, but edging out more than a 22 lr and it boasts a max effective range of 30 meters. It's ideal for covert operations like assassinations, and not really much else. The US military also tried to experiment with piston ammunition using a modified Smith & Wesson Model 29, 
which you might recognize as Dirty Harry's gun. This was intended to be used by tunnel rats in Vietnam to stealthily clear out VC bunkers, but the project was abandoned due to its disappointingly low power, especially when a suppressed 22 LR pistol could essentially do the same job just as well, and is one of the most widely produced gun and ammo types in the world. In turn, the Russian military produced three different weapons that used the SP4 piston bullets. The NRS Ballistic Knife, the extremely cyberpunk OTS-38 revolver, and the PSS semi-auto pistol, which the keen observer might recognize as the gun that Olga throws overboard during the tanker chapter of Metal Gear Solid 2. Once again, Metal Gear Solid continues to impress me with its attention to detail and obscure references.